Canvas Magic Write is an AI-enabled writing assistant that can help you with brainstorming ideas, drafts for social media posts. It can even help you write press releases, a business plan, and even customer support responses. Want to learn how to use this amazing AI tool? This week, I'm going to show you how to use Magic Write in Canva. And once you see how easy it is, you'll wonder why you haven't been using this tool already. Canva recently released a bunch of new and super helpful tools that really are magical, amazing, and super helpful. I'm going to be doing a series of video tutorials for each of these new features, but I wanted to start with Magic Write. You're also going to get a look at the brand new Canva Assistant in this tutorial. Magic Write has been available in Canva for a bit. It was part of their new release, and it's now officially available to all Canva users. I recently did a poll and found that a lot of people haven't used Canva's Magic Write yet. And they all said the number one reason they hadn't tried it was because they didn't know how to use it. So we're gonna start with this new feature first. From the home page, to get started, we're gonna go on and select this box that says, try out Magic Write everywhere. So click on that, click try it out. It's going to automatically open your editor with a new artboard. And you can see it already has the Magic Write tool open. And what you want to do is tell it what you are looking for it to write. It's a prompt. So we're going to put in our prompt. And the first one we're going to try is write a social media post with three Canva tips. You put in your prompt, let it do its magic. And there are your three tips plus three hashtags that you can use in your social media posts. If you're a content creator or you do a lot of social media, this is going to be huge, huge time saver. It's going to just make life so much easier. If we're satisfied with those three responses, which I think they're good, I'm going to click enter to scoot down to open Magic Write again. We're going to click on the plus button. We're going to choose Magic Write and we're going to give it another prompt. Magic Write can do blog posts as well. So we're going to give it a short prompt that says, write a short blog about why the sky is blue. Click enter, give it a minute, and there you go. Tells you why the sky is blue. Click enter, scoot on down, and we're going to do another one. And I want to show you this. This is definitely my favorite way to use Magic Write. So we scoot down, we click the plus, we're going to choose Magic Write again, and we're going to put in our prompt. And if you are a meal planner, you are going to love this. My prompt is going to be write a healthy breakfast menu for the next three days. And there's your healthy menu. Talk about a time saver. This is amazing. So now you might be asking, okay, well, that's great but what else can it do? So let me show you a post that I created a while back and what you want to do, select your text box. This is the new Canva assistant right here. And it's always going to be in the lower right hand corner of your editor. Click on the assistant and you can search for anything. And then it also gives each of these different options that you can just automatically select. So for what we're going to do, we want Canva Assistant to rewrite that text using the Magic Write. So we're going to click Rewrite, delete that, and we'll pull this down so you can see. And it has given us, it has rewritten the text in that box. So if you don't like that response, you can go back to the Canva Assistant and you can edit it with Magic Write and put in your prompt, hit Enter. Now so you can see this, I'm going to shrink it down. And it gave us some really good information, but it's kind of long. So go back to the Canva assistant. And this time we're going to summarize the text. Click summarize text. And there you go. It summarized that whole paragraph that it wrote. There are a couple of things to keep in mind about the Canva magic right. Your prompt has a limit of 1500 words. So the it's a 1500 word input for the prompt. That's your limit. The more detailed you are, 
the better the results you're going to get. You can get a 2,000 word output, meaning that 2,000 words is basically the limit for the Canva Magic Write. If you're a Canva free user, you only have 25 lifetime Magic Write uses. So that means that over the however long you use your free Canva account, you only get 25 Magic Write uses. Canva Pro, Canva for Teens, Canva for nonprofits and teachers have up to 250 Magic Write uses per month. And that number refreshes every billing month, not by the calendar month, but by your billing month. And that's everything there is about the Canva Magic Write to get you started. And that's how easy it is to use Canva's new Magic Write tool. I hope you found this tutorial fun and helpful and informational. Please be sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any tutorials. If you're brand new to using Canva, I'll have a link in the description for my free Getting Started with Canva, the basics course to walk you through all the basic fundamentals of Canva with video tutorials and a full workbook free. Of course, I'll also leave the link for the free 30-day trial of Canva Pro, which I highly recommend if you don't already have it, especially if you think you'll be wanting to use the new Magic Write tool. You'll also find a link to my 223 Canva Element Keywords ebook to help you find some amazing hidden elements. And if you want to find amazing graphics like the ones I use in my tutorials, I'll leave a link in the description for my go-to resource, Creative Fabrica. I love all their graphics and fonts, and their prices are super reasonable. I'll be back next week with another tutorial, and until then, make it a wonderful week and enjoy your Canva. Mm -hmm.